Good morning, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel. It's like a team of part series, the week that was college football season review, the 1986 college football season, week 13 and week 14, respect. We're going to start with November 27th, 19, excuse me, November 27th to November 29th, 1986. This is week number 13. We're starting Thanksgiving where Texas A&M, the number 10 team in the country, beat Texas 16 to 3. The Aggies grab a Cotton Bowl bid and put Texas coach Fred Akers out of his misery as he was fired soon afterward. Now, Texas A&M wide receiver Rod Harris, diving catch of a six-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Kevin Murray, broke 3-3 tie. Uh, Captain drive that advanced after roughing uh, pass a penalty. Uh, fullback Roger Vick, first Aggie to lead Seth West Conference in rushing in 35 yards. Led ball control offense for winners who also received three field goals from kicker Scott Slater. Longhorns quarterback Brett Stafford threw for 201 yards. Loss was third straight to a and another reason Akers was handed pink slip. Georgia beat Georgia Tech 31-24. Now Georgia was ranked number 18 in the country at the time. With Georgia Tim tailback Tim Worley injured, one time heralded recruit tailback named Lars Tate ran for 154 yards and three touchdowns including game-winning Five-yard effort in the fourth quarter. Now, fullback Keith Henderson added 116 yards to Bulldogs' rush attack that totaled 332 yards. Yellow Jackets, meanwhile, entered fourth quarter with 24-21 lead as quarterback Rick Strong threw for 223 yards and 14 yards touchdown to wide receiver Gary Lee. Georgia Tech's last drive ended with 90 seconds left when tailback Jerry Mays was stopped for no game on 4 for 1 at the Georgia 46 yard line. Now, Auburn beat Alabama, the number 17 in the country, by a score of 21 17. Auburn won game on mistake. Auburn was ranked number 14 in the country. And they beat number 7 Alabama, 21 17. This game was won on mistake for Auburn. That's wide receiver Lawyer Tillman scored on reverse meant for backup wide receiver Scott Bolton. Who was on the bench. But Coach Pat died until Miss trying to call it up timeout. Go back Jeff Berger was oblivious amidst raucous crowd. Once the ball was snapped, Tillman knew what he had to do. Racing left to have to hand off, take a handoff from tailback Jim, Tim Jesse, and head to Enzo. Play cap 67 yard drive that featured Ruggers' nine yard completion to wide receiver Trey Gaines on fourth and three. Tailback Bobby Humphrey rushed for 204 yards to lead Crimson Tide to late 17 7 lead. Auburn tailback Brent Fullwood, who rushed for 145 yards, went 26 yards for the second touchdown to pull within 17 14. Linebacker Kirk Crane. Led Tigers defense with 22 tackles. Rice beat Houston 14-13. Notre Dame beat Southern California 38-37. Southern California is ranked number 17 in the country. Crazy season for Notre Dame ended on a positive note as kicker John Carney's game in a 19-yard field goal shown videotaped by CBS after game officials client ex requests for eat extra delay to finish airing commercials capped the 18.4 quarter comeback as USC had built a 37-20 lead behind quarterback Roddy Peake 171 yard passing kicker Don Schaefer's 60 yard field goal and cornerback Lewis Brock's 58 yard interception return for a touchdown but Irish then scored three times in the final 13 minutes as quarterback Steve Berline through four touchdowns, through touchdown passes of 42 yards to wide receiver Milt Jackson, five yards to fullback Braxton Banks, while wide receiver Tim Brown, who had 252 yards of all purpose yards, set up final 10 points with a 49 yard catch and a 56 yard punt return. Notre Dame's second touchdown drive again with a controversial spot on fourth and one. Kipper, keeper by quarterback Rodney Pete on Irish five yard line. Trojans came up short. Now, USC coach Todd, Ted Tolner's Record against US, UCLA and Notre Dame dropped to 1-7. and seven. Finally, San Diego State beat Brigham Young 10-3. King is dead. All hell new king. Why? Because after BYU dominated the WAC 
conference for 10 straight years, the Cougars were dethroned by Aztecs. Each team had eight sacks on defenses, set games tempo. Cougars were held to 73 yards passing because quarterback Steve Lindsley was knocked out in the second quarter. With defense playing so well, San Diego State off his need to contribute little. Quarterback Todd Santos delivered 43 yards, completion to wide receiver Alfred Jackson to set up seven yard touchdown run by running back Chris Hardy. Defensive tackle Jason Buck, who won Outland Trophy early in the day, led the Cougars defense with three sacks. Now, when was San Diego State's first over BYU since 1970? So that includes a look at the uh, college football history review for week number 13 for November 27th and November 29th, 1986. Let's get into the poll for uh, December 1st. Number 20, Stanford. 19, Iowa. 18, North Carolina State. Number 17, Georgia. 16, Arizona. 15, UCLA. 14, Baylor. 13, Alabama. 12, Washington. Ohio State, number 11. Number 10, Auburn. 9, Arkansas. 8, Texas A&M. 7, Arizona State. 6, Nebraska. 5, number believe in Louisiana State. 4, Michigan. 3, Oklahoma. Number 2, Penn State. Number 1, Miami. Week number 14, December 6, 1986. Army beat Navy 27-7 in Philadelphia. Quarterback Tory Crawford rushed for 94 yards and brilliantly, brilliantly led wishbone attack as Army won Commander-in-Chief trophy for the fourth time in trophy's 14-year history. After Navy pulled to within 13-7 with third quarter touchdown, Crawford led consecutive touchdown drops of 79 and 80, 48 yards to finish off their rivals. Midshipmen, who dropped seven straight game of season, had a single good drive of 71 yards, featuring 10 straight rushes by sub tailback Don Hall that included touchdown bolt of three yards. Let's look at the conference standings. That includes week 14, a game that was played December 6, 1986, between Army and Navy. Conference stands, Lance Coates, Clemson was first. Southern, uh, Southeastern Conference, Louisiana State, Michigan. It was finished, in a, it was a tie for the um, top spot, 7-1 for Big Ten, Michigan, and Ohio State. Clemson was first for the ACC. Southeastern Conference was Louisiana State. Uh, Miami of Ohio, 6-2, Mid-American Conference. Big 8 was won by Oklahoma 7-0 record, 71 record, Texas A&M, Southwest Conference, Southwest Athletic Conference. You got the Western Athletic Conference was won by San Diego State, 7-1. Arizona State won the Pac-10, 5-1-1 record. San Jose, San Jose State won the Pacific Coast Athletic, 7-0 record. So who's a look at college football season review for the wet regular season? The conclusion of the regular season for 1986. The games that I played on November 27th to November 29th, 1986. Week 13, week 14, December 6th, 1986. Week 14. Please like and subscribe and comment on the channel. Do video this matter too tomorrow. Get into the 1986 major bowl games that were played during the 1986 season. Until then, talk to you soon.